Hello math lovers, welcome to the channel. In this video we have an algebra problem. We are given an algebraic equation and we have to find out the value of x. So let's find out the value of x. We are given the equation 49 to the power x minus 25 to the power x equals 35 to the power x. Let's find out the value of x. So if we observe the terms of this equation we see that 49 is 7 square, 25 is 5 square and 35 is 7 into 5. So we can divide both sides by 25 to the power x. Now we can put 49 as 7 square to the power x and 5 square to the power x. Now 25 to the power x over 25 to the power x will become 1 because both will get cancelled and 35 we can write as 7 into 5 to the power x and 25 we can write 5 into 5 to the power x some can be written as 7 over 5 whole square to the power x minus 1 and this can be written as 7 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power x and 5 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power x. Now in order to explain this, I will present you an example. So suppose that we are given 6 square, so that will be 36 because 6 into 6 will be 36. Then we can simplify 6 into 3 into 2 square. Then we can write 3 square into 2 square. So 3 square will give us 9 and 4 and 9 into 4 is 36. So 6 square is 36 and uh, 9 into 4 is also 36. So 35 to the power x can be written as 7 to the power x multiplied by 5 to the power x. Now 5 to the power x and 5 to the power x will get cancelled. Now next step, in the next step we will write 7 over 5 to the power x square. Now in algebra if x is given to the power m bracket power n then that can also be written as x to the power n bracket to the power m. So we can interchange these powers. So minus 1 equals to 7 over 5 to the power x. Now we can let 7 over 5 to the power x by so we have y square minus 1 equals to y so next y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0 now this is in the format as a y square plus b y plus c equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation let's find out the value of y then y will become minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now we have b as minus 1 so minus minus plus so that will be 1 plus minus b square will be 1 minus 4 we have a as 1 and we have c as minus 1 and then we have 2 and we have a as 1. I will write it above here. That will come as 1 plus minus. Now you see that minus minus plus so that will be 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So it is root 5 over 2 into 1 is 2. So we have y as 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now let's put the value of y. So we have the value of y as 7 over 5 to the power x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. We are not going to consider this negative sign because 7 over 5 to the power x will give us positive number. So if we have a negative root 5 then that will give us a negative number because root 5 is bigger than 1. So that will not be possible. So we are only considering positive sign here. Let's take log.
now that will give us x log 7 over 5 now this has a base 7 over 5 equals to log base 7 over 5 1 plus root 5 over 2 now this is the log of 7 over 5 and its base is also 7 over 5 so that will be equal to 1 because if log of a to the base a is always equal to 1 log 7 5 over 1 plus root 5 over 2 so x will become equal to now we have got this log to the base 7 5 now we can convert this to the log of base 10 so so we can do it like this log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 10 divided by log 7 over 5 to the base 10. So, if we are given log b then that will be equal to log 10 b over log 10 a. So now we can find out the value of log 1 plus root 5 over 2 of base 10 divided by log 7 over 5 base 10. We can even simplify this like if we are given log a over b then that can be written as log a minus log b. So, so we can write this as log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 divided by log 7 minus log 5 and we get that the value is approximately equal to 1.43. So, the value of x is 1.43. Thank you.